Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical evidence and scientific evidence. So those who do not want to face the reality or the truth, please do not continue on to watch this video. Also, this video is not for excitement or a, a video to cheer anybody up. This video is for technical presentations. So those who is not for the technical presentations or having the patience like in the college class to find out what is going on, please do not continue on to watch this video because this is serious stuff. This is not entertainment. This is not movie. Now, in the past few days, I share the three key elements which is belong to the 1850 Wing Chun or ancient Wing Chun. And that is what is not exist in today's Wing Chun. And that three keys is inherit from the Southern Sword Strike and General Chi Chi Guang. Now, after I sharing that, many of our friends message me asking me to share on so how is one trained in the 1850s Wing Chun for fighting? So of course, training for fighting is not like you're learning a set you're learning Qi Sao, you're learning uh, Wooden Dami, and then uh, everybody get creative and then do whatever they want. And then in the real fight, they're going to use Western boxing and then they're going to use BJJ, whatever. And then they will say, oh yeah, you know, fighting, every fighting is the same, disregard of what you train. Nope, that's not what it is in the real reality. The truth is not that. Wing Chun, the sticking body short strike Wing Chun 1850, or Tip San Tuin Da in Cantonese, or in Mandarin, Tie San Tuan Da, is a technology or a martial art design created 100 years ago. It is not up for discussions from anybody's uh, interpretations or belief. So either one know it or one don't. And so how to train for fighting? That is a critical question. Now, so today I'm going to share with you how is Wing Chun 1850 fight. If you know how it fight, you will be able to know also how this thing is trained. If you never seen how this thing fight, then how can one learn how to fight in the Wing Chun sticking body way? You can. So, Today I'm going to share with you so that after this video, you know exactly what is sticking body short strike Wing Chun. Here on, you know clearly what it is. Okay, that's the notion. And everybody be able to get it if they train it that way. And when they go to fight, they have that uniqueness. It's just like a Thai boxer will fight 
with the Thai boxing uniqueness. A Western boxer will fight with a Western boxing uniqueness. Same thing. So taking body, short strike, uniqueness is the same thing. It has to have its uniqueness. And it has to fit into or par with other martial arts. Now, to begin the sharing with you, first thing we need to know, Wing Chun, ancient Wing Chun is from Shaolin Sword Strike. Shaolin Sword Strike is evolved from the Ming Dynasty military or Qi Ji Guang. So, Whatever it is evolved from Qi Ji Guang and Shaolin, it always have four momentum zone. As in my book here, the details of four momentum zone and what Qi Ji Guang presented, namely the short strike, uh, sorry, the long fist, the short strike, The short strike, the takedown part, the ground fighting. So any complete traditional Chinese martial art which is following the Shaolin, and Shaolin is from General Chi Chi Kuang, all have this momentum zone training. Yes, 1850s, Wing Chun have this four zone too. However, 1850s Wing Chun have its uniqueness. That's why the name is named as Sticking Body Short Strike. So, within the four momentum zone, which is the general, the Sticking body short strike meaning that it is proficient, it is specialized in the short strike zone of fighting. Okay, so this is how the ancient define it. Now, so today I'm going to share with you what exactly, how exactly this thing looks like. So here on, you know how this short strike Wing Chun looks like in fighting. And you'll be able to develop that. And you need to be able to develop that if you call it as a sticking body short strike. So it is like a selling pizza. If you are selling pizza, you better be able to know how to make pizza. You're not selling the Chinese dim sum as a pizza. Okay, now to get into the fighting training or how the fighting looks like, one must proficient in the three elements I have shared in my video a few days ago. One must have that. That is, in today's language, the functional training. Without that, you will not be able to develop, to train the sticking body short strike fighting. You will not. So get that clear. First, the, 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 the background, the base is the four momentum zone. On top of that, you want to have the three elements as a functional training you know how to handle your body and so forth so forth so forth which is i'm not going to repeat it today and then only on top of that it is this fighting okay now whatever i want to talk or i sharing it is based on the 1850s 
Wing Chun Xiu Lim Tao classic, which is in this book. So I am not creating my Hendrix Wing Chun or whatever Wing Chun. I just bring whatever in the past 160 years to America and hopefully here on, hopefully here on, Wing Chuners around the world can grow with it. Once you know the technology, you can improve it, you can evolve it, you can study it. That is the notion why I'm sharing this. I am retiring, I no longer touching this stuff, but I have the duty, a responsibility to share this with you. So you know you get things clear. Okay? Now, in order to get into the ancient Wing Chun fighting, we need to start with the plum flower footwork. As we know in the previous video, this footwork here doesn't mean that it's like a dance footwork. It's not like a dancing footwork. It's not, it is you need to require to have pairing you with your body is the first priority pairing with your, your legs. As I mentioned in the previous video. Okay. We need this. Again, this is based on the ancient writing ancient instructions. We are not create our own stuff. Now, so in the plum flower footwork or the plum flower momentum handling, I'll call it plum flower momentum handling is better. So I don't want this to be a a dance okay somebody do the footwork mimic mimic uh dance and and say it is a plum flower footwork no it is not this okay it is a momentum handling from here you have a two location one is this close body the opponent is here you are here another one you are far away which is the uh, in the long range and then this is the short strike range. This is a long range, long fist range. Okay, it begins with this. Now, so any range in the range where I can strike him, he can strike me, or I can kick him, he can kick me, that is the long fist range. This range where he cannot kick me, I cannot kick him, he cannot strike me, I cannot strike him. This is the non-fighting range. If you want to fight, you have to go in. Okay? Now, when my body stick at him, this is a short strike range in the plum flower momentum diagram so hopefully this is clear this is for the long long fist range this is the short strike range to make it even easy for you to identify to know what is a short strike From this range to this range, from this range to close to his body, okay, or to attack from this range to him, because obviously nobody can stand here. You need to pass through the long fish range to get to the short strike range. Am I right? So, there are two fighting there. One fighting is from here to get into here 
for the fighting. Another fighting is you fighting when you are here. Okay. This is the uniqueness of the sticking body short strike. Now, to make things simple for you, guess what? Think about it like a jujitsu. From here, attacking in here is like what? Take down, like a takedown. Like a takedown in jujitsu. Long distance launch in. Okay? So, in the 1850 short strike Wing Chun, or sticking, short stri uh, sticking body short strike Wing Chun, or the Shaolin short strike, this is called shoot in. So, when you heard about shoot in, you make equivalent right away, analogy equivalent, take down. Okay? Shoot in and take down. Shoot in and take down. Okay? Now, so if you are here, of course you're going to get shoot in because you have to pass through this range. It's like, look at the people who do take down. Okay? Same notion, but this is shoot in. Shoot in is not about takedown. Shoot in is about you get in, you collide him. You you just collide him. You just you just crush him. Okay. Instead of taking down, you shoot in, you collide him. Okay. So It is not stopping here, but you penetrate his body with your momentum. Okay? You just dash in, you collide him. You just collide him, you collide him. And the weapon you want to collide him is with your knee, with your hip, with your shoulder, with your elbow. You just go in one shot, you take him out. Okay? Now, there are many ways of doing it according to the ancient. So, this is four ways there. There are four ways here how to do that. So, you can think about it. It's just like a takedown, different ways of takedown. Okay. Dependent, uh, depend on where you are relative to your opponent. You want to shoot in, collide in. You just finish him. Like the takedown. Okay, you just finish him first. So there are four ways as I, I have shared with you here. In other words, is if he is at front, say frontal, you go through his his his, uh, his uh, between his leg, you just go completely on over there. If he if uh, he is on my he's like this, I completely go in from this. Okay, so there are four types based on how. I want to get in from here, or I want to get in from here. There are four techniques there. That's the basic. You slam him with your knee or your hip. The idea is you want to totally, completely fracture him by collide. So again, analogy to take down, you just go smash him. And the weapon is your entire body go. Okay? So that is the shoot in. It is from this range 
directly go in. You end up like that, like that, or like that. But pay attention. You are not going to stop. You want to like this. If he's the, the opponents are dummy, you go in like that. You are not stopping at here to punch. No, your entire body. And this thing is fast. Why? The body is moving. And then say if the elbow, elbow come, elbow is coming in. Or if the body is moving and the knee is coming in. So you have a two acceleration speed there or two component of speed. It's not standing there and, and knee. If you're standing there and knee, there's one speed. This is moving body and speed. Okay? That's why if you don't have the recycling momentum, you cannot play this game. So this is at the entrance, at the entry. Say the opponent is planning for a takedown on you. You plan for a, a, a shoot in on him. Then he do his takedown, you do your shoot in. The issue is, have we trained that? The four thing there for the, feel, uh, to, for the shoot in completely crush him or completely shatter him. And of course, the opponent say it's going to come from like that. It's directly shoot into the center line. It take the center axis away. The same thing if it's going like that. It's got the entire center line. It's like you just uh, shoot a bajuga to him and you just destroy him. Okay? So that is the fighting in the long fish range. And of course, like in all take now, you have some kinds of baiting and so forth before you get in. One of the thing is, you bait him, he's gonna come at you, and you turn the position and in. Okay? You need to be proficient with this four in order to be able to play this game. Because nobody stand at that and then waiting for you. And also there's not a straight line. It is angling in. Like you look at our friend who do take now. Sure, straight line is possible, but you see, is that straight line or they all angle in? So this is the long range fighting of sticking body short strike 1850s. The lower part of body, the torso is going to attack at the same time. Sure, the hand can come like a takedown. Okay, take down your hand. But this is his, this. Have to penetrate. Okay? So there's one type. Which is this. Now we're going to talk about this. So. If my takedown work posture, or I'm not going to hurting him or something, I have him control completely because I shared all his uh, center axis. Now I landed in here. In serial, I just crush him away. I landed in here, or I try to crush him away. He might struggle or move away so that it end up that I will not be able to like uh, people do a takedown and you move away, he not be able to move, uh, uh, do a takedown. So it will end up in this range, short strike range. Now in this short strike range, the short strike Wing Chun 
have the continuous attack okay continuous attack in this range surrounding him so in other words is you continue using your knee your elbow your butt your hand to attack him not from one angle every attack you switch angle every attack you switch angle you switch angle you continue to to spiral him or sticking at him while you're switching angle at every attack you switching angle you're not going to do this kind of thing you're going to do this you go do and then come back and then go there and then come back and go there you just keeping circle him him stick the heck out of him attack all this thing that's the notion does it have the footwork yes all this footwork See, this footwork is different than the take down, uh, the, the, the shoot in footwork. Where well, it's far away. This footwork is here. The same thing. Every move, your, 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 your knee, your thigh, your body is attacking him. However, that's different. It doesn't have the, 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 the speed and the momentum as you shoot from far. Where you like the takedown. This is not takedown, but it's like a mini stuff. But your, your leg always is there. Okay? So this is at this distance. And you see the, you have all this footwork. Every footwork, you have to handle his uh, center axis. That's continuous sticking body sword strike. Okay? Continuous attack in the sticking body range. Now, at here, you have four type of techniques or four group of techniques which is you use while you are circling him and attacking him. The first type is called fall. In Chinese, it's called tie. Fall. If you have the book here, the Wing Chun Inception, it lists it as the Y3. It's called tip, trip, tripping. So tripping is like the judo's leg sweep. You sweep to his angle. You just take his angle away when you walk in or when you when you occupy him or when you just take his center line while you're walking like this. So at every move, your entire body from your leg, your knee, your hip, your shoulder, your elbow, you, you are attacking him with all this weapon. Okay? So the first is like the judo leg sweep. That's called trick. Okay? Remember, at every attack, you only stand in the same position once. The next attack was in a different position and a different type of, of, of trips and so forth. Okay, now the first is the trip. The second group is the strike and the kick. The strike and the kick. Okay, the third group is the throw. Is the throw okay?
look at like a judo throw. Okay, this is not like uh, in the usual wooden dummy. You put your hand this far away on the neck and you try to pull. No. This is, you put on his head, you move your body in, you throw. Like the Ogushi or Iponsonage, those type of throw. Because it's dealing with your arm throw. And the last one is the joint lock. Okay? The joint lock. The joint lock. The lock. The joint lock. So it is called tie, which is you fall him. You trip him, you fall, make him fall. Ta, you kick him, you strike him. Not just sun fish. There are many fish you can look into that. Okay? And in the ta, always is yin yang fight. Slam from here. And then you can go on the other hand up there, yin yang side of your hand. Okay. If you remember in my past video, I said that when you do that, you have to use your yin and yang side. That's why it is go inside here. Okay. It's always yin yang. That's for the for the strike throw and lock well one of the throw is the takedown too okay And one of the lock can be the bong sao. One other thing can show you. Another lock. You crush in and then you lock. Okay. So, this is a very brief, very general to show you what is a short strike Wing Chun in ancient will do when you meet him. First thing, he's going to do what? Shoot in and crush you entirely. Shattering your entire axis. We don't talk about even damaging people. We're just shattering the entire thing. The second thing is you stick and you continue to strike. Close range. That is Wing Chun. And of course, you have your fall, trip him, sweep him to make him fall. You have the strike, yin and yang play. You have your throw. You have your lock. Okay, like your, your, your bong sao. This is, this is a lock too. Okay, or this can be a strike. This is Wing Chun. Up to now, what I share with you is based on General Chi Chi Guang, Shaolin Sword Strike, the 1850s writing. None of this is Hendrik's opinion. There's nothing to do with whose lineage or who is most authentic. You want to go fight? You have this capability. So you fight the ancient Wing Chun way. You are not practice sets. And then when you go fight, oh, you know.
So this is Wing Chun. It never is as in movie today. You punch this way. It never like that. You never punch this way, and then you, you keep this distance and your legs, your your structure, your whatever, like in the movie, never be like that. And in the history, you know only with this way, the, they, they shoot in, shattering the entire thing like a bomb or bazooka, and then over here, you're keeping moving, flowing, and striking. That's how this short strike Wing Chun in ancient supposed to work. So this is what I like to share with you. Hope that here on today is the uh, the October twenty seconds of two thousand twenty one. You know what is the truth of sticking body short strike Wing Chun. Sure, knowing this is not going to make one the best fighter in the world as in any martial arts just knowing something training something is not going to make you the best supreme in the world those things only happen in the movie even general chi chi Kuang do not post those things general chi chi Kuang said as in my book, 1560, uh, Kung Fu 1560, keeping learning, keeping evolving, keeping testing out. Some friends say, some friends which who I coach saying that, oh, Hendrik, it's very difficult to get in when you want to crush him. That's what I tell them. Almost 50 years ago, when I start in Kyokushin, even roundhouse kick is difficult. Even roundhouse kick is difficult. If one don't do it for thousands of times, so that one be able to do anywhere we want. Is take down easy? If look at those uh, our friend in grappling, how many thousand times? They need to do the practice the takedown before they can do a takedown safely and execute it properly. Nothing is easy. So today I share with you already. Long range, that's what it is. Sticking body, continuous strike, that's what it is. The component, everything. You guys are smart, you know how to synthesize this thing. And the details is in my books. So this is what I like to share with you. It is only fair that we let the world know what exactly happened pre-1850. What is the real deal? which is based on General Chi Chi Kuang. Military, this is warfare, this is military, this is not having fun, okay? So here on, I brought this to America, I share it to the world, I retire now, it's no longer my responsibility. I tell you what it is already, and you can check it with the ancient writing. And you can evolve it. That's how every generation become better. So it is simple, right? The three elements and all this. But you need to practice thousands of times, even though you know this already. Without the three elements and this, what do you have when you versus a, a real complete a holistic martial arts life is not a movie general chi chi guang 1560 is facing 
the Japanese pirate, some of the pirates is Japanese warrior. It's about life and death. You don't monkey around like using movie or using my theory, I believe so, I think so. And you don't have time. And you don't have time to sit down there and guessing for 60 years. And in the 60 years, you do all kind of uh, dry land swimming. And everybody have their creative opinion. But what is the truth in the past? We don't know because we are dry, dry land swimming. We have all the ideas and creativity. And we chop ourselves off from the ancient face it a lot of today's chinese culture is chopping off from the ancient today's chinese a lot of chinese culture have no idea what is happening in the past anymore due to all the modernizations and chaotic situations and revolution or whatever so this is what i'd like to share with you today Hope that it helped you. Hope that you can see what is Wing Chun. Hope that, like our friend Xi Xiaodong, not taking whatever he see in the movie as Wing Chun. 